Hello everybody, Sinesk111 here, and welcome back to more Bloons TD6. Last time I got the Alpine Run map, I played it on normal difficulty, but I did not succeed. So I'm gonna try this again, this part. Then once I'm successful here, I'm going to check out the military only and apocalypse modes if I have enough time this session. I kind of doubt I will, though. That may not be that good of news for me, but it's going to mean nothing to you, since you're going to see the next episode tomorrow. And that fact's going to be true, given that that most of the time, I, I upload most of my videos to YouTube and schedule them about a week or two in advance. That should do for now. That should do for now. I'm still going to put Striker Jones on the field. Not over here this time, but probably on these other triangle-like things. In preparation for the new hero monkey that I'm going to be buying with some monkey bucks soon. Hopefully. In fact, I just thought of something before I started recording this episode. I still have some Insta Monkeys that I want to put on my field to see, to show you what they're like. Let me just get Striker Jones out on the map, and I'll explain them to you. I love the smell of Target. You love the smell of Target? Me too, Striker Jones. Me too. Okay, so here are the Insta Monkeys that I have unlocked as of me recording this video. There is a Glue Monkey, Plane Monkey, Wizard Monkey, Boomerang Monkey, Ninja Monkey, Engineer Monkey, Druid Monkey, Tack Shooter, Cannon, Ice Monkey, and Sniper Monkey. I also had a banana farm with me, but I spent it already in an earlier game that I played. How Insta Monkeys work is that you are to click on what kind of Insta Monkey you want to put out on the field, click it, and drag it to wherever you want to place it. And it doesn't cost any money. Let me go ahead and place these other two ninja monkeys out on the field. And then I'll be good to go for the next round. I was going to see if you can upgrade insta monkeys as well. I don't have the funds to do so right now. Let's just continue the game. More concentration of balloons. <laughs> That's gotta be a sign that things are going to get harder soon. We get a sniper monkey down here for targeting balloons from long ranges.
Although, I wonder. I don't think I saw this when I placed the sniper monkey down on the field. Is this... Is this ski lift supporter going to obstruct the view? I don't think I saw this red space where the where the sniper monkey can't see. No. Oddly enough, oddly enough, the sniper monkey can see past these bars. That's odd. But I'm not complaining. So now I'm gonna get a ninja monkey out here, and I'm gonna have him work his way towards the sh towards the shimmer ability that reveals all camo balloons permanently. How much does it cost? Seventeen hundred dollars. I'll need to use my money sparingly if I want to get there. Uh, that wasn't sparingly. As you've seen earlier in this video, I came close to leveling up. Now actually, I do level up. One monkey knowledge point? Heck yeah! I wonder when the leveling system will cap out. Probably soon, I'm thinking. Yeah, I made a good call placing these cannons there. And with them, in conjunction of the wizard monkey with the shimmer upgrade. Eventually, these same camo lead balloons are gonna come. And I'm gonna be ready this time.
Yeah, that's quite the dark aura surrounding him. Okay, the Moab round is coming up soon. I think I'm sufficiently prepared for enough for that. The temptation of placing any more of these monkeys on the field when I don't need them is getting to me. Even more so when the balloons start making it halfway past the map. I'm gonna have to do that now. Bloom Dissolver looks intimidating as heck. After the Moab round, I'm gonna place a banana farm in here so I can get some more money in case what I would end up getting otherwise isn't helpful. I missed I missed having things that don't allow that allow me to get more bananas. A reference to the deflation mode that I played earlier. And I think that's a given considering how poorly I've done in the deflation round. But that's mostly coming from me not remembering that it starts on round 30. And it and it was on easy mode to boot. Okay, just hang in there, Cyanesk. You're past three quarters of the way there.
Lead to gold. Oh yeah. I don't think I want to show off rubber to gold just yet. Still quite a few things more I want to... I want to do here before that happens. Super Monkey Madness. Yeah, I'm calling this game much better than the previous one I played in the last part. MOABs are being brought down en masse. Okay, I believe that long line of lead camo balloons is coming up this round. Then the BFB. Romancer Unpopped Army. Target that BFB. BFB is getting a major whooping. <gasps> I did it. Second time around, I got this down. Congratulations, I completed this Alpine track on medium. 137 monkey cash. And with that, I think I now have enough to unlock Captain Churchill. But I think I'm going to have to wait until the next part to 
use that hero monkey. Um, I doubt I have enough time to record another part. Nah, it's getting a bit late. I'll need to start winding up down soon. But I will definitely play with Captain Churchill as the hero monkey in the next part, where I will also tackle military only and apocalypse modes. I've handled primary only, so I pretty much know what to expect in military only. But until then, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!